Welcome to Bible by the Fire, where we study the Bible by a fire in day Z. This channel is absolutely out of control. What are we doing? This is insane and I love it. Monday through Friday, we play survival games and we try to be a good influence on the world, be a blessing to people. So subscribe to the channel. Sundays we set aside for Bible study by a fire in day Z. And I want to go to Luke chapter 10, verse 38 in a few minutes. So you can start turning there. But something that really has been a big part of my life. It's very simple, but it's profound. And I think it'll help you and bless you as well. When Brooklyn, we call her the life coach on the channel. She sits by my side as I game a lot. You hear her chiming in on a lot of my videos. We're, we're super buddies attached at the hip. She's 12 now, but when she was younger, not that long ago, um, there's an occasion where I was pretty stressed. I had some deadlines to hit. I had to get some things done. I was hammering away on the laptop. And I, I was pretty stressed, and I'm a low-stress individual. Like I, I don't stress out easily. I, I keep pretty mellow knowing that, hey, in my 43 years of existence, if I'm just responsible to give it my best, everything turns out okay in the very least, if not good. So, But on this occasion, I was, I was stressed, and I was hammering away on the laptop. And she came up to me, Daddy, Daddy, can we go to the pool? Can we go swimming, Dad? And um, we live in a community that has a pool, a uh, shared pool. It's a community pool. It's stinking hot here. So, I mean, even in the summer, the pool is like bath water. But nonetheless, I looked at her and said, oh, uh, Brooklyn, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm really busy right now. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm really busy. And I heard those words come out of my mouth and I saw the look in her eye. And she's an understanding kid. She's, she knows. She, she's not going to push the issue. She's not going to manipulate me. But I saw this look of disappointment. And I switched it up on her. Instead of saying, oh, I'm so, I'm so busy, I got, I got work, I got to do, I'm so busy. And then I closed the laptop and I said, Brooklyn, I am busy. And she looked at me and I said, busy playing with you. And that became a thing. She'd say, Dad, can we go to the gym? And she got a little older. Dad, can we go shoot hoops? Can we go work on my game? I don't know, Brooklyn, I'm pretty busy. And she'd already smile and run off to get her stuff because she knows the next thing I'm going to say is busy playing with you. I share that because we are worried and upset about many things. We're going to see Jesus say that today in our text. But then he says, but only a few things are needed. Indeed, only one. Choose what is better. We can be worried. We can be upset. We can let the daily tasks and chores and, and burdens of work and bills pile up and, and all this just sort of break our hearts and break our spirits and say, I'm too busy. Or we can realize what's truly most important. I'm not saying to be irresponsible or anything like that, but I am saying live for the more important things. Choose what is better. In Luke 10, 38, Jesus was with his disciples. They were on their way to a village where a woman named Martha opened up her home to him. That's a big deal right there, opening up her home on a whim. I know when I have people over, especially if I didn't expect it, I look around and see how cluttered the house is, and I didn't realize it till they walked in the house. Verse 39, she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, Jesus answered, you are worried and upset about many things. But few things are needed. Indeed, only one. Mary has chosen the better, and it will not be taken away from her. Wow. We do this. We're worried and upset about so many things. What are the things you are worried and upset about right now? Jesus would say your name twice. Matthew, Matthew. That's my name. You're worried and upset about so many things, but only few things are needed. What are those things that are needed? I shared that story about Brooklyn. I'm busy playing with you because that became a thing I would say like on a weekly basis and maybe to an extreme. I mean, one time I was out till 9 p.m. the day before. I barely saw her in the morning and only went to kiss her goodnight and I didn't see her all day and I felt terrible. So the next day, I actually called out of my last class I was teaching. I took my daughter Brooklyn out of school early for the last hour just to take her swimming in that same pool, like cutting her out of school just to make sure we had an hour together because I know I'd be gone and out late again. Because those are the few things that are needed. Uh, so what? I, I get another hour at work? I need to do the things that are needed. Family, friendships, relationships, God's calling on my life, my purpose in life. There are only a few things that are needed. I want to ask you a couple questions. What are the things that worry you and upset you? And then what are the things that are actually needed? The things that we actually should be focused on. Martha was busy running around doing a good thing. She was doing a good thing. She was doing what the culture called for her to do. When you have a guest over as, as a cultural um, uh, institution, you better 
do certain things. Make sure their feet are clean. Make sure there's a meal. Make sure there's bread. Make sure you're serving them. There were things that culturally were appropriate for her to do. She would actually have to break culture to not do those things. What she was doing was good. Many times in your life, it's a good thing that's keeping you from God's best. Are there some even good things that are keeping you from God's best? Are there cultural expectations placed upon you that are just burdening you and you're missing out on your relationship with God and your relationship with others because of the pressures the culture puts on you? Jesus does not care about that. He said, Mary has chosen what is better. That day that I closed that laptop and said, busy playing with you, I chose the better. Today, choose the better. Don't let this culture or society put those pressures on you to do X, Y, or Z at the detriment of your spiritual health, your family health, your relationships. What are the things that worry you? What are the things that upset you? Take them to the Lord in prayer, Philippians 4, 6. Don't be anxious for anything, but in everything with prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known to God. Trust God, pray about them and leave them there and go live for the things that are actually needed. That's the second part of the question. What are those things that are needed? We know the only one. He says, few things are needed. Indeed, only one. We know the one is our relationship with God because that's what's eternal. But there are a few other things that are pretty darn important as well. Don't let culture put you in that box. Don't let the burdens of everydayness of life hold you down and keep you away from the presence of God. Keep you out of hearing his word because that's what Mary was doing. Just sitting with Jesus, listening to his word. If you want to go on a little excursion through the scripture, and I'll leave this to you, look at the three different times that this Mary was at the feet of Jesus. There's three occasions, at least by my count. I didn't dive in too deep, but there's three times, and this is the first. It's quite a journey. Good things happen when you're sitting with Jesus and listening. You're worried and upset about many things. Only a few things are needed. Indeed, only one. So the study today, choose the better. We have so many choices every day and we don't even realize it. Choose the better. Choose the one thing or the few things, but don't get boxed in by the rest. Wow. I hope this frees you up. I hope this uh, is a blessing to you. And I hope that you can say, yeah, I'm kind of busy, busy hanging out with you. Say that to your wife. Say that to your husband. Say that to your kid. I'm supposed to be doing this, but I'm going to hang out with you instead. Choose the better. Hey, thank you for listening. If you want to support this, you can check us out on the, uh, the screen you'll see right now, hopefully. The server info, you can join the server. we got some good plans. We're going to make some changes soon. If you want to support it financially, you can um, buy a shirt from the merch store down below. And most importantly, share this with someone. Send it out. And until next time, keep carrying the fire. <laughs>